Well, it looks like Tamar Braxton said enough is enough with the theme pieces and dropped a pretty lengthy YouTube video that addresses the infamous night with Chris Sean Rock. Now, it is a pretty lengthy video, as I said, so I am going to chop it up to get to the meat and potatoes of the video. But if you want to see the whole thing in full, please head over to YouTube. But if you made it this far, make sure you leave a like and a follow and enjoy the clips. Usually, I have no one in my dressing room before a show when it's time to pray. It's just, you know, my immediate staff, right? So when Krishan walked in, the reason why my face looked like what is because, like, who, first of all, who is it, and why wasn't nobody stopped at the door? Two, Tony and Krishan did not know who each other was. All right, so Tony was like, "Well, who is this person coming in between me and my sister?" Me and Tony both, when it's time to pray, we in our dressing room, don't nobody come and interrupt, period. That's just something that we do. That's actually something that I learned from her, okay? So, first of all, my sister has lupus, an autoimmune disorder, okay? If I get sick, if you get sick, it's no big deal. If she gets sick, she go to the hospital. So, what she not finna do is touch a stranger's hand, embrace a stranger. She don't know Krishan from from Adam, okay? And so, when she walked in, it kind of startled everybody. So let's just address that there, okay? You see that? And at the end, Tony patted her on the shoulder, okay? And, huh? and actually, that was the first time that I met her shot when she walked in that door. Yeah, that's why I turned around and I got you. We actually had so much fun tonight, Lord God. And bring us back Prayer and changes things. To our family. Amen. In Jesus name, we so let's move on to the next subject. Mm -hmm. Right after James, get busted in the face. No, the one to bow back. Okay. Yeah, that is still in my dressing room. Uh, uh, Two knockouts. Me too. 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 Me James is my best friend, and I would never ever do him. Look at my baby lip. Yeah, I would never ever do him like that. But at this point, it has gotten above and beyond out of control. Okay? Nobody is lying on nobody. Nobody wants no for nothing. That's what the legendary Tony Braxton. Okay? Nobody needed a clap. Okay? Hello? Nobody's trying to get on Zeus. Lamelle is a good friend of mine. If I wanted to show, I would have one. If we wanted to show, Tony wanted to show. I'm so sorry. I love you with all my heart and soul, but your friend sold you up a river for five thousand dollars. Yep. Somebody said he sold the video to TMZ. The man here, Keon, said y'all sold that video, not me. Keon said y'all saw that video to somebody named Charlie for five thousand dollars. Now, I just want to give y'all a little story time. Y'all want a little, another story? Isn't this amazing? This is um Travis, and he has a bit of information that he'd like to share. Travis, would you step up to the podium and give the people of God the information that you know? So what actually led up to Krishan being angry that night before she attacked James? was the fact when she got there, she had 10 people there, but she originally only told us that it was supposed to be six people with her. So LaTroy Davis, and you know I'm not lying because I was standing right there while you was talking to her and her team, you told the, the venue staff that only six people can be backstage and the rest has to go to the audience. So after she picked the six people, she was also told that she was the only one that can be on the left side of the stage by herself. After that situation happened, she ended up coming up to me and said, Hey fam, I'm not trying to cause any issues, but can I at least have one person over there? And I asked her, who did she want? And she said, her manager with the dreads. So I've got one of the venue staff members and the venue staff member brought her manager to the back. So after that, she was calm a little bit. And then she ended up coming up to me again. And she said, Hey fam, when am I performing? What time I'm performing? When time I'm going? Because remember, on? I had said that I had wanted her to come out to do a survive all the time doing the twerk all part. That's what we was talking about. Go ahead, now read on. So I told her, I said I didn't know anything about that, but let me go to the person who's in charge, which is Latroy Davis, while we were on tour. At the time, he was in charge. So this his tour. So I went up to Latroy and I said, "Hey, Krishan said when is she performing?" He asked me, 
What are you talking about? I said, Krishan told me that Tamar Braxton told her that she can perform doing one of the halftime um, things. He was like, well, she's not getting on my stage. She's not getting on my stage. And I was like, what, what do you want me to tell her? He was like, but she's not getting on my stage. And he walked off. And that was that. So that's the story. Please leave me out of the chat.